Ever since Chanel has shown at the vast Grand Palais in Paris, Karl Lagerfeld has given free rein to his imagination, coming up with ideas such as Coco Chanel's famous jacket reinvented as a Mao jacket, or even the facade of the iconic Rue Combon store. The cost in time and money, and Chanel currently has 80 people working for a full week on this project. It's worth it because new media can spread the news, visually and in commentary, across the world, from the house's own website to YouTube. That's why this Lion in Summer is a magnificent and monolithic statement this couture season about the power of Chanel. I'm with Stéphane Lubrina, who's an architect, a magician, and the interpreter of Karl Lagerfeld's dreams. This golden lion is absolutely extraordinary and massive. But what's it got to do with Coco Chanel? Oui, en fait, yes, indeed. Well, first of all, she was born under the sign Leo. And then Coco turned it into an actual symbol, the same way she did with wheat and the clover. It's a copy of the original lion that stood in her living room, and Carl wanted to have it. He wanted a monumental lion. How was this enormous lion made? Is it the same as building a stage set, or is it different because you've got the models walking around? That's it. It's not exactly the same as in theaters, because there, sets are built to be seen from the front, whereas here, models will move around the set and the public will be seated all around it. So really, the set needs to be flawless, not only from the front, but also from the sides, and even on top because of the cameras. You need to make it flawless. This is a model made of styrofoam that we cut apart and distributed each piece to one of the 30 sculptors. So each of the sculptors ends up with a piece that is, in the end, quite abstract. They must reproduce each piece, and it's only at the very end that we assemble all the pieces to create the lion. What was the hardest part of making this lion? Was it planning it, building it, making it? Ah, this is a big job. In fact, we've been working on it for the last four or five months. There's a complete metal skeleton inside the lion, it has a steel backbone, an aluminum frame, and then a simple sculpted styrofoam skin that's been polished to give it this particular effect. How does it work between you and Karl Lagerfeld? Do you sit down and discuss things together, or does he come to you and say, I saw a lion in my dreams? Carl came to me and said, Stefan, I had a dream last night. We are going to build a monumental lion for our July couture show. And actually, he often dreams of the sets, and I make them a reality. <laughs> I heard that forgot it and saw the lion here in the cupola, here where we are, huh? oversized. Huh? This is Susie Menkes at the Grand Palais in Paris for Chanel Haute Couture for the International Herald Tribune and the New York Times.